I don't think I'll be able to see Apple and all that. Good morning. Today is Father's Day. We have a special surprise today. Was not planned on the tour, but where we are staying at Whistlepick Hollow, pretty much next door, is a lady who bought one of our original cows. Originally, we bought two milking cows. That became, we didn't need two milking cows, so we ended up selling one. Her name was Apple, and Apple had a baby called Bellflower. And she lives just up down, right up the street, and we're going to get to go see her. But before we do that, they've got some gifts for me for Father's Day. You got me a card? Yeah. Thank you very much. I see you already opened it a little bit. From all of them. Wow. I yeah. sprouted from seeds. Oh, and grew no, into something perfect. I sprouted from your seed. Hey. <laughs> I sprouted from your seed and grew <laughs> something perfect. Aw. Yay, yeah. gardening. <laughs> I'm my gardener. That I garden, you guys. Uh -huh. That I plant yeah. y'all seed. Decorations. Woo! Money, money, money. Ten dollars. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. R. What's the R stand for? Oh, oh, big money, big money, yeah, big money. Did. Twenty dollar bills, dollar bills, y'all. Dollar bills. Daddy, dollar bills. Daddy, Daddy, dollar bills. Dollar bills. Dollar bills. Dollar bills. <laughs> How's the dollar bill dance go, Mom? Come on, how's the dollar, dollar bill song go? Dollar. Come on, go with it. Dollar bill. Dollar, dollar, dollar bill. Dear Father's Day, thank you for... Dear Father's Day. Yeah, I love it. Thank you for taking me on this great bus trip. You're the best dad ever. I'm glad I made your day. Thank you for making money. You're welcome. Thank you for making this stuff. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Thank you for making this bus and finding out who could do it. You are welcome, Josiah. Dollar bill. You are welcome. Dollar I'm gonna give bill. a. He's still stuck on the dollar bills. We're gonna give a big group hug after this is over, okay? Dollar bill. Dollar bill. All right, Jonah. Happy Father's Day. Oh my God. Nine dollars. <laughs> I'm rolling in the dough. Hope you're having a good Father's Day. I thank you for taking me on this bus trip. I love you. You are the best pop in the whole wide world. Aw. Here's mama's. Here's the mama. Here's the mama. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> How'd you do that? I put lipstick on. You don't even wear lipstick. But she put it on to make a special card. Not only have you proven that you can make an actual human, but it turns out you're also really good at helping one grow and learn stuff and become even better human every day. Oh, that's sweet. I love you, Papa. You are the best in the whole world. I would not... I would not be so awesome without you. This papa is from everyone. You guys remember this? I've already been using it. Chop up the coconut choir for our compost toilet. I'm gonna chop firewood to make kindling. This is this is a man's gift right here. Happy Father Day! Oh. Oh. Alright, everybody group hug, group hug. Oh. Oh, thanks. Oh. Ooh, yes. I love you guys. Put her right in here. Look at this. Okay, right there. Check it out. We are at the place. Y'all remember Willow, right? Work is before you. Go ahead and trim it down for the chickens so they could come in and till and get us a garden ready. Thank you very much, Willow. Our family cow, when, when, well, when we bought her, we also bought a cow named Apple. Well, it turned out we didn't need two milkers, and now we're at the new owner's place, and we're gonna get to see her and her baby. You still got Bellflower? Still got Bellflower. Has there been any more offspring? Apple has had two more. Yep. Oh my gosh! And they're all here. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's go see them. Everybody, sit down. You guys are gonna be excited to ride this big old ATV. This is our host, everyone, Kayla. Hi. <laughs> This is a Bulgarian Karakachan. Did I get that right, Kayla? Yes, that's right. This is a special guard dog all the way from Bulgaria. Bulgaria. You can guess it. Bulgaria. <laughs> all of her animals here are in, on the endangered, Very critically endangered. endangered livestock list. Except, except for her, our Jersey cow. Oh. You're here for that cream. Hey, buddy. 
Kayla says these dogs don't bark as much as the White Pyrenees, and they're more people friendly. And they're smarter. What do you think, guys? Would you like a Bulgarian? Yeah. Car a Bur Bulgarian Karakachan. This is an Irish Kerry black cow. Tell them the story, Beck. Well, they're supposed to have horns, but this one had been dehorned by her previous owner. But these are the cows that started Kerry Gold Butter. So they're not Kerry Golds anymore. But no, they don't. They don't milk Kerry Golds Just anymore. Like the Devons, but that's how that starts. That's right. Kerrys and the Devons are alike in that they'll give you a lot of milk on Any grass water. alone. Mm -hmm. No, no grain. Yeah. So, Carrie, yeah. they'll give me a little bit less than a Devon. The Milking Devons are the only yeah. uh, American triple purpose breed. The thing about the American Milking Devon is they're trap purpose, they work, they're good for milk, they're good for meat. The Carries, she's saying, more naturally separate the, the cream from the... The cream separates out of the milk easily so and faster, good. so they're better for cream and butter and cheese. And higher butter fat content mm -hmm. than the Devon. Yep. The American Milking Devon are more is more homogenized so it's a better drinking milk or yogurt milk yeah right yeah and we used to make a yogurt with a lot mm -hmm. of ours we would get like in a half of a gallon yeah we didn't get much we cream we would get that much cream from our from oh milk. you get more from a, from a they carry, have yeah really? higher butterfat content and they produce their milk on grass only and it doesn't have to be that qua that great of grass either they can, yeah they, yeah, they can, can do be, well on more forages and, and poor grasses and Help him up, help him up, let's go. Let's go on and see Apple. Bellflower. So what's so special about these sheep? So these sheep uh, are, were the original animal, the original livestock breed to ever have a breed standard. An Englishman named Robert Bakewell uh, originally got the brilliant idea that instead of eating their fattest animal in the winter and saving their skinniest one that took the least seed, they would save the one that was really nice and big and breed that one and eat the one that was measly. And so that idea ah. essentially led to a breed standard. My goodness, look at these big horses. Holy moly. That guy's over six feet tall at the shoulder. She's a girl. It's a she. she. They look kind of magical. They do look That magical. one looks kind of magical. I'm looking for the horn. I'm looking for the unicorn horn. horn Where's your horn? Behind that shed is a fella named Bonham. That's one of Willow's offspring. No apple. Oh! Two. Is Bonham. Bonham on the left? No, no he's Bonham is the smaller. the smaller. He's a little bit younger though, so don't okay. hold it against him. No, no. You American Milk and Devons, you have something special. We've seen these cows on the front end, still waiting to see Apple and her and Bellflower. They're apparently in the very back. Backing it up. We were almost to see Apple and Baby. Then we saw this storm brewing. And we said, oh, we left the van windows down. So we gotta go roll them up. And then hopefully we can see Apple. All right, got the windows up. Let's go guys, before this rain hits. It's starting to sprinkle guys. Let me get the umbrella. Always be prepared. filming this ride, but I think it's gonna get too wet for this camera. So I'll get in under my body here. We're there. Oh my god. Look at that herd of American milking Devon. Do you see the size of that herd? What are you doing with all these? Our main purpose is to breed breeding stock for other farms. And then our secondary purpose is to breed them for meat. So the ones that are not breed standard, we will sell for meat. The carries is strictly more for like a um, conservation because there's like less than 50 or so in the whole country. Have you found apple yet? Hmm. She'll have a name tag with her name in her ear. There's apple right there. Oh my gosh, she's right in front of us, guys. Don't scare off. Hey there, Apple. Do you remember us? <laughs> she's not so sure. She's You're in good hands here. She's got a number one tag. That's because she's the best. Number one. She was our first, uh, first cow. 
so she's number one. Apple's got a new calf behind her, Fiji. Fiji. Yeah, good name, Fiji. good name. Now all we gotta do is find Bellflower. <laughs> Kayla found Bellflower. She's out here, straggling. How you doing, honey? Oh look, and Bellflower has a calf. Good job, Bellflower. Good job, Apple. Good job, Willow. That's Willow's great granddaughter. So we've accomplished our goal. We found Apple, Bellflower, and we got a surprise. Bellflower had a calf. Thank you, Kayla, for showing all this. I like what you're doing. It's beautiful to see such a Beautiful breed, so many all together. Oh. On grass too, guys. Closing out today's vlog. Tomorrow, Spiral Ridge Permaculture in Tennessee. A whole institute. Tennessee is jam full of all kinds of farm goodness. Tomorrow, we're gonna tap into yet another piece of it.